So it looks like Kai Havertz is set to leave Chelsea and he's for sale. They can't agree a new deal. Pochettino is begging Mason Mount to re-sign a new contract and apparently he's playing hardball. And we've got Inter Milan treating Chelsea like they're absolute mugs. Asking for £80 million for Andre Onana. They want Koulibaly on loan and they want Romelu Lukaku for a cup fee on loan. Do you want some fries with that? Let's get into it. We've got a massive video. Right off the back, we're going to start talking about the Kai Havertz deal because this is the deal that has really, really got under my skin and I'm getting really worried and I'm getting really frustrated. A lot of you have been saying, Alex, you're being really dramatic this window. How can I not be dramatic? How can I not be frustrated? How can I not be worried at this moment in time? We're at a time with our club where we finished 12th and instead of us getting stronger, I feel like we're getting rid of our better players. Whilst I might not be Mason Mount's biggest fan, the fact that we're getting rid of Mason Mount but we still have Conor Gallagher on the book is worrying. The fact that we got rid of Joao Felix and Kante are both leaving the club is still worrying when Christian Pulisic and Ziyech are still on the books. What's going on? And now to make matters worse, it looks like Kai Havertz is going to be leaving. Kai Havertz has not agreed a new contract with Chelsea. <coughs> Apparently Chelsea are trying to make him take a pay cut, a pay cut on a new deal. And the player is only willing to sign a one year extension, meaning his deal will go up to 2025 instead of the 2020, uh, 2026 instead of they conclude at 2025. And this is what worrying because Chelsea now are in a region where they say if you don't sign a new deal we need to sell you and the player said sell me then because he's got interest from Real Madrid he's got interest from Bayern Munich and now he's got interest from Arsenal what do we know so far we know that Madrid are not going to be paying the money Chelsea are asking for 70 million pounds Bayern Munich do not have the intention to pay that money and apparently Arsenal Arsenal do they said they'll pay 60 and now the players' representatives have been having a nice conversation with Arsenal. They've been exploring a possibility on the move. And Ornstein and Fabrizio Romano are both reporting the player is keen on making a move to North London. Guys, if this isn't worrying you, I don't know what is. A lot of people are going to say, what is the point of having Kai Havertz? He's not good enough. Get rid of him. 60 million is good business. I'm going to say this. Who is good enough at this Chelsea? What has happened this year is... Everyone's stock has dropped. We have been so poor that everyone's stock has dropped. And the fact that everyone's stock has dropped, everyone looks rough. Everyone. But now we've got Poch coming in. An actual manager. An actual individual that's going to coach a side. Coach these players. You don't think these players' reputations are going to go up? You don't think there could be a little jump like there was for Mark Marcus Rashford? Last year, Rashford was meant to be trash. This year, Rashford is the second coming of Mbappe for Manchester United fans. Guys, I think we are really selling ourselves short. And this is being like highlighted by how many clubs are trying to take advantage of Chelsea's downfall. N'Golo Kante got snatched off our hands. Mateo Kovacic is getting snatched off our hands. Going to Manchester City. Upgrading himself at this moment in time. That's how you view it. He's upgrading himself. Mason Mount looks like he's going to be going to Manchester United. Kai Havertz looks like he's going to Arsenal. And all these clubs are trying to get discounted fees. We can't be letting go of players that actually should be starting for us or first off the bench and keeping players like Pulisic and Ziyech on contracts that they should be leaving. It's ridiculous, it's preposterous. So what's going on now with the Habits deal? Chelsea basically are in a little limbo. We've got the Daily Mail reporting that Chelsea apparently wants 70 million. Uh, Fabrizio Romano is coming out and saying that Chelsea at this moment in time think they can only get 60 million including the add-ons from Arsenal and Arsenal are willing to give him 200k a week to keep him as one of the best paid players in their squad. This tells you everything you need to know about Arsenal's strategy this year. They're going after Declan Rice, they're going after Kai Havertz and they will go after one more centre half. Arsenal are treating this as a proper transfer window and as of this moment, as of this very moment, the only players we have coming in are Malo Gusto and Nkunku. And both those deals got done in January and we can't offload players. Unless we start offloading players quick, I'm worried we're going to miss out on Saicedo. I'm worried we're going to miss out on Lavia. I'm worried we're going to lose a lot of our better players and the season starts and we don't have a squad that's strong enough to compete for top four. I'm genuinely... Fabrizio Romano has also 
reiterated that Mauricio Pochettino is asking and pleading with Mason Mount to reconsider his avenue to leave the club. By the way, if you made it this far, hit the like button because you're clearly enjoying the video, right? And it really helps and pushes the algorithm. So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, let me know your thoughts. But now let's get back into it. Maurizio Pochettino is actively trying to negotiate with Mason Mount to re-sign for the club. Apparently Mason Mount has no intention. The relationship has really been burnt and Mason Mount feels personally attacked. He doesn't feel personally valued and he's gonna move on. And the reality here is guys, Evidently, the way Chelsea dealt with him made him feel some type of way. Look, Mason Mount might not be my cup of tea of a footballer, but Mason Mount has got a lot of talent. Mason Mount wouldn't be at the level that he is if he didn't have talent. So I'm going to say this. If Mason Mount believes he's been disrespected and wants to move on for that reason, I don't, I don't fault him one bit. But if this is a money scheme, I don't fault him either. Look, he's got a 12 to 15 year career. He wants to get paid, he wants to make enough money and move on. He told us on many occasions he's a Portsmouth fan. He came through the Chelsea Youth Academy, he most probably has an affiliation with Chelsea, but he's not a Chelsea fan. It's not like if one of us played for Chelsea, and even then, if one of us played for Chelsea, I guarantee you if someone was offering us 150k more a week, we would most probably consider that move, and for some of us, we most probably would move it. I'm not going to lie to you, if Chelsea were offering me 50k and a club was offering me 200k, and they're offering me Champions League when I don't have Champions League. There is a direct conciliation. I have to look after my family. Anyone that says any other anything else is chatting rubbish. So that is where we're up with the Mason Mount deal. Conor Gallagher looks set to be going to either Spurs or somewhere else. But there's no clarity. Like all these moves are in limbo. Yes, it's the first day of the transfer window, but it's very, very warm. What is really starting to piss me off is Inter Milan. So what I don't like is window shoppers. And for me, this is exactly what these Italian clubs are starting to become. They're window shoppers. They're absolute window shoppers. They come in, they look at what you have, and then they start to haggle you. They start going, okay, I'll give you this for this. I'll give you this for this. I'll give you this for this. But you do the same thing in favor. In their favor, they start panicking. No chance. Oh my God, how dare you? This is pathetic. So the reality is what has happened in, in that meeting. Chelsea have opened discussion with uh, it, it, Inter Milan and Inter Milan have reiterated, Onana's not for sale. You want Onana, pay big money. And the fact of the matter is, they're not just saying 50, 60 million big money. They want 80 million pounds for Andre Onana. That is ridiculous. Like Andre Onana is not worth 80 million pounds. I am sorry. On what planet is a goalkeeper of that magnitude worth 80 million pounds? People are going to tell me, Alex, you're being an absolute clown. There is, he's worth it because of his passing range. No chance. You cannot be paying 80 million pounds for Andre Onana because what's next? And this is exactly what's happening. Anyone we pick up the phone to now is inflating values because of the Enzo Fernandez deal, because of the Mikhailo Mudrik deal, because of other deals that we have done in the past. They know they can get their way with us and this is going to bite us in the backside when it comes to negotiating in the future and what else this is the big problem here Inter don't want to buy Lukaku Inter don't want to buy Kulubali they don't have the money to but they'll take him on loan they're telling us we'll take him on loan and what Chelsea said is no Chelsea said no and I'm actually very proud of Chelsea for doing this because the reality is Kaladu Kulubali is a player that we could most probably use next year but we would prefer to get him off the book. And the reality is, if we do get him off the books, it's better for us because we clean up some wage room and all of a sudden there's a nice pathway for Levi Colwell, for uh, Badi Ashile, and for Fana. The issue now is Inter don't have the money, so we need to find an alternative club. Inter are getting frustrated saying, look, we'll give you this, this and that, but nothing is related to money. They don't even want to do swaps. They genuinely want them on loan. They want to take the mick. Romelu Lukaku is another one. They wanted a discount. They didn't want to pay the seven million pounds to take him on loan. They know Chelsea are weak at this moment in time. They know that Chelsea are gonna panic sell and they are trying to exploit Chelsea in every which way. Guys, I am getting seriously worried. I am here in a beautiful Dominican, chilling, having a time of my life, but at the same time, in the back of my head, I'm seeing my club sell Joao Felix, my club will send back Joao Felix and not activate the loan, send Ingolo Kante to Saudi Arabia because he didn't resign, and all of a sudden, Mateo Kovacic is going, Kai Havertz is going, Mason Mount is going, and I am getting worried that we're not adding genuine like for like quality into the squad. 
Like I was sitting and thinking on the beach. My chair is over there, the one I was just chilling on. Literally, I could see it where I was all day. And I was thinking, right? I'm on the beach and I'm sitting and thinking after I go out the water. We're gonna have Kepper in goal, baddest looks of things. We're gonna most probably play a back three of Colwell, Baddy Ashile, Fofana. I'm happy with that. Right back, Rich James or Malo Gusto. I'm happy with that. Ben Chilwell, left back, Ian Matson, Kukurea. Okay, I can live with that. Midfield, Enzo and who? Enzo and who? It it worries me. Because if Kovacic looks like he's leaving, it's worrying. Then I start going, okay, the third midfielder, who are going to be the two in behind the striker? I don't know who the striker is. Noni and Mudrik? Sterling and Noni? No, it doesn't, it doesn't brief me with enough confidence and faith. This is not the front three of Havers, Felix and uh, Sterling where I was like, you know what, I actually back these three. I actually like these three as a trio and if you give them game time, give them a structure, you give them a two cool system, they're going to score goals. It's going to work. I don't see it anymore and it's worrying me. I am worried. I don't know what you guys think but hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully the videos are going to start being a little bit more positive, but I'm not here to give you fake optimism. I really am not. I'm here to give you your latest Chelsea news. I'm here to give you my honest takes. I'm going to give you my honest opinions. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts. Peace out. I'm out. Go and watch the last two videos I've released, by the way. The one that recently came out on Kylian Mbappe and how don't fall for the news. That move will not be happening. And the other one was related to the goalkeeping issue and what's going on with at Chelsea. So hit, hit those videos up, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Peace out, I'm out.